Welcome back everybody. Today I'm just taking a quick look at the, some of the effects that we've been doing on the urban planet. A lot of it is green and has green lighting, so taking advantage of that with the green screen mod you can download over on the StarMade community. Essentially what you have to do is download it, unzip it, and there will be a data folder inside it. You stick the data folder over the top of your current StarMade installation. You'll see a data folder, just unzip and overwrite. All it does is it changes the old Milky Way textures. So before we had the procedural background, which obviously you have to turn off for this to work, when you go in the launcher, turn off procedural background, and then when you get in the game, there's a checkbox. The checkbox in the options menu, that is, for enable high definition background. And uh, if you do that, all of it will go green. There's a few other things. You probably want to remove all additional stars. So you want to turn all of this stuff off, you know, all of the cosmetic things that are part of the star field, just to give you the nicest solid green. So then you don't have to mask anything off, makes it easier in the long run. So, and then all I've done for this is really cheap. Using XSplit, there's a basic chroma function. So we've chromed out the green, and I've got a couple of different presets. One of them, chroma space, and everything green on the screen. The other one, uh, chroma's the black. Okay, so only the shadows and it leaves space. And then there's another one which is the reverse, but you'll be able to see them all in this video. Um, obviously, we're using a visualizer here. It's Project M, which you can get for Windows, you know, Winamp, and VLC. But I'm using VLC. And I've got a 1280 by 720 visualizer strapped behind my game, so it's like nice. Um, and yeah, there's a couple of things you can do with this. If you uh, shoot in alpha, you can actually overlay ships over the top of this as well, and then have motion tracking move them around the screen. Um, we haven't really used it for that, we've mostly used it for picture in picture. Um, or just overlaying a video graphic on a wall, like a projector wall. You can also use it for uh, a ho holograms and masks. There's, all, there's, there's so many uses for it, but um, it's only limited by what you know about green screen, really. Um, you can also use green hull on its own. So you might get to see that. At the moment, it's black. As you can see, there's green on the screen, so it's not chromering. Cro it's not using green chroma at the moment. The annoying thing about the Project M is it will give you 200 presets. So if you're going to mess about with visualizers, I think they're quite cool as computer screens. I mean, I'm using it full at the moment, but you can have it really small in one block, you know. Just have a green hull block. Um, so now I've switched over to green screen, but with no... So, so it's using green screen, but without the green screen, only on the, only on the green hull. And anyway, like I say, you'll have to pull out a few of those visualizers if you don't like them. But it's just a case of having a folder with the ones you want. So they give you all of them and you have to remove the ones you don't like. So yeah. Um, <laughs> we were just messing around really after a long building session. And this is what became of it. So I think I'm going to leave you with a time lapse. So basically, thanks for watching and enjoy the visuals and uh, look forward to how we're actually going to use this in a useful way. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.